the overlord of power, I think, when it comes to recording. <laughs> <laughs> Restart the recording with Georg has the... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Georg is That's our overlord. Awesome start. By the way, Georg, I have to tell you that I took, I took the children to see The Sound of Music in Kansas City last weekend. I had no idea that, that Mr. Von Trapp, Captain Von Trapp's first name was Georg. Like somehow that escaped me through many childhood watchings of that. So I just was like, oh my God, I know a guy named Georg now. <laughs> That's why it resonates. So go ahead. It is also the uh, reference most people have for, oh, like in the sound of music. Yep. Oh, wow. Considering the number of times my mom forced me to watch the movie, basically up until the time that I liked it. <clears throat> it was like, yeah, so go ahead. Sure. Okay, so we have the application uh, for Google Summer of Code complete. All of the sections are written. Now we just have to wait for the deadline to see if Google wants to accept us or not. As we are doing this, we are also working on the ideas, which are, so these are project ideas and right. they are located on GitHub in the governance repository. And we have um, one idea already merged and then three more in the pipeline. Um, can, can you explain to me, I was, I was submitting one yesterday and I did a pull request and it was, I was a little confused about, um, but basically when I did a, when I pulled the repository, I had an empty file. So I filled the empty file and all the information was in these other pull requests, like what other people were doing was in other pull requests. And is the intention then that we'll have one document at the end? Yes, we merge okay. all the documents. All right, so they'll be together. merged at the end, okay. Yep. And so the, the one that you submitted, Sean, you might've seen my comment. I already addressed uh, the comments that were there early this morning. Yep, and I left a new comment two hours ago. Damn you, Kira. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can I'll take a look at take a look at that. And it's fine. Yeah, um, well, I'm not the, the only one that can't keep up with Georg's comments. Yeah. <laughs> Some people Facebook Georg comments on pull requests. <laughs> the the comment is that the description as it stands now is very detailed and uses a lot of lingo that makes sense to us as Chaos Project. But I doubt someone who is from the outside would have a that is. good time understanding or knowing what it is. So okay. I think we would benefit from, um, I don't want to say dumb it down, but... Take, make, take some of the language, make it simpler, talk more about the technologies that are common. Um, yeah. And I'm trained as an academic not to focus on the technology, but, but that's what's needed here. So yep. I'll go back. I think we want to convince the student that this is cool. They can do it and it's yeah. cool to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I got it. I got it. I was copying one somebody else's and maybe I picked the like in terms of structure and the way I characterize things, but maybe I I used the wrong example. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go look at some of the others. That was, that was my comment. And then, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And I also made comments on the ones that are on the Free More Lab side. Um, okay. So it looks like we'll have four project ideas. Um, implementing GMD metrics, um, extending or integrating different components like the Graal component into the Remote lab workflow. So that, that's what we have right now. Okay. Once all of those comments are addressed and we merge it, then we have our ideas ready. Yeah, I thought but, the Grimoire lab ideas were super exciting. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think all of the ideas are really good. Yeah. So I, I do look forward and I hope we get the. Um, we get the sponsorship from the Google. Yes, that's what I was saying. I figured. Sorry. So, um, do you want to talk about the this thing? Since you're on the mic, Georg, do you want to talk about 
the difference between work group and working group, which my, my simple mind doesn't know what the difference is, but there must be some sort of nuanced difference that's important to somebody since it's a discussion item. <laughs> so I looked up the, the words and work group on Wikipedia just says it can also work working group. I mean, working group. Okay. Like, okay. So work group is a more general term then. And working, work group, group, working group is more general. No, working group specifically is people working together to do something. I see. Whereas work group can also refer to uh, infrastructure. You know how Windows has work groups? Yeah. Anyway. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So it looks like working group is the term most used, and Don said so yesterday as well. So it sounds like working yeah, group is what we should what's, use. Yeah, we should use working group. It's what's okay. used in most of the other big open source open source projects. Then let's use that. And if it got yeah, let's use that. Yeah, it's not it's not a big deal, but I guess we should be consistent. It doesn't. It's it's one of those things that probably doesn't really matter, but we should just be consistent in how we use it. Yeah, it's helpful for me to know what to use because I'll just throw out one or the other without any direction. So that's good. And I think most of us were using working group and I was the one consistently saying work group because it's a one short word. instead of. <laughs> yeah, and I can see where in my writing, I would be inclined to use work group instead of working group as well. So direction is helpful. <laughs> I'm glad we had this conversation and we can move on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dawn, it sounded like you have an update. Oh, just a quick one. I did, I did go ahead and schedule the new working group, um, the common metrics working group. So it's going to be on um, Tuesdays right before this meeting, but not this week, uh, next week, and then every other week. Um, we, have, we have a bit of an issue because uh, I have a conflict with this week that's, I have some every other week meetings that are on this week. And Brian Prophet has some every other week meetings uh, that are on the opposite week. Dang so it. I. What's up with you guys? <laughs> Maybe the company should buy each other or something so we can get this <laughs> sorted out. Uh, no, I think, I think Red Hat's tired of being bought. I think they're good. Yeah, probably true. Yeah. <laughs> We'd buy yeah. Well, enough. Pivotal could just buy IBM now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> No, and we're, we're mostly owned by Dell EMC, so I don't think IBM is going to buy us either. So no, I think we're I think probably. we're safe. Okay. Um, but uh, but yeah. So anyways, it's going to be starting next week, and it'll be the hour before for this meeting. And that's my only only real update. The other thing we should probably talk about briefly is uh, Chaos Con. Unless are are there any questions about the new working group? I think we got the pull requests merged on the website. I didn't actually check. I saw Kevin's email. Um, yeah, we merged the pull request. Okay. And uh, uh, Sean, you should have a look at it as well because I changed a bunch of stuff in your working group because I, sure. based on the email, that the last email that I had seen from you about when the meetings were, were not right. the same as what was on the website. So I changed it based on what you had sent in the email. That's so you should uh, just... I'll just check it. It's, yeah, just double check and make sure I didn't screw anything up for you. I doubt you did, but I'll check. Cool. And I added the compliance and risk subgroup meeting. Thank you. To your box. Thank you so much. Yeah. I figured while I was updating that page, I would just do all the updates. Yes, your update is correct. Thank you so much okay. for doing that. Cool. I didn't do that before. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Don. Yeah. No worries. Um, so nice. just, just as a reminder, ChaosCon is on Friday. Um, I am going to Brussels tomorrow. Me too. Uh, Take me longer to get there though. <laughs> yeah. Mine's a short train ride, so it's not so bad. Um, so you're channeling. I, I am. Yeah. I'm taking the Eurostar. Nice. And I have, I have another meeting on, I have a to-do group meeting on Thursday. So I'm there for that as well. So it's just a, like so many things fast, I was just nonstop all all day, every day until I leave. But it'll be it'll be fun. Lots of fun people going. Um, but I think uh, in the last meeting, Ray agreed to uh, basically MC Chaos Con, so he'll be introducing the speakers and helping everybody keep on time. Um, the one question I had for you, Georg, we we've always uploaded 
the slides. Um, actually, you, by we, I mean you always upload all of the slides. Um, so one of us is going to have to, uh, or some group of us will need to take over that responsibility. Do you have any, is there anything we need to know to do that? Um, um, so I'm sure I can write an email on how to do it. The Kevin will be there and he is responsible for the website so he can help. Um, the way that I do it is I just upload it to the GitHub repository and then from there you get a link that we just include in the markdown and that's it. Okay, cool, that works. Yeah, I'll write a short um, email to the events group. Okay, yeah, that would be helpful because I just want to make sure that we do it in a way that's consistent with the way you've done it in the past so that we kind of keep everything in similar structure, similar similar way of doing it. Does anyone want to volunteer to help me with that task on the day of? I would, but I'll be there. I'm moved by time, so. <laughs> Okay, so Sean, if I if I need some help, I'll uh so you're I'll talking, about you. talking about Friday, right? Yeah. Yep, I'm fully at your service, whatever you need. Cool. Yeah, we just need to grab the uh presentations from the speakers and make sure that they get on the website so that I will I can do that. I know how to do the pull requests. Awesome. I can accept them too if somebody would use them, I think. <laughs> Any any questions about Chaos Gone? Did we decide that Jesus was doing the emceeing? Uh, no, Ray is going to do it. Ray, Ray, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Jesus has usually done it because it used to be a kind of a Paturgia event. Um, they they sort of organized it in the past. Um, I think it was in this was it this last meeting we decided that Ray would do it. I think it was. Uh, my my preference is to have someone more neutral do it. Um, someone who's not affiliated with one of the one of the companies that um, does stuff in the space. I think so. I think Ray is a good yeah. choice. Agreed. Other topics that people might have. There was this okay because this could be the world's shortest meeting. <laughs> yeah, love short meetings. I was just uh, thinking about the metrics. I thought I saw a pull request that I wanted to discuss. No, nope, never mind. I already merged it. I made a judgment call. <laughs> um, there's this big one that uh, Sean has open right now. Um, I've looked into it a little bit, but there's a lot going on here, so it's a little difficult to see exactly what's yeah. happening. Right. Um, yeah, it didn't fit into the um, the mode of a use case so easily. Um, so, you know, I'm looking at this like spreadsheet that you provided, Sean, and I'm I'm not sure exactly like what information I'm looking at because you have things like lines are colored differently, and then you have uh, a couple of columns. So let me pull it up. This I, is, I just sent the link in the chat. Oh, yeah. oh thanks. That's extremely helpful, Guillory. <laughs> so I was, I was trying to explain um, in the in the spreadsheet kind of what the what the pull request is trying to do, but let me get started. To, okay. Sorry, I had to so it, it seems like you're trying to remove oh, a lot okay. of duplicates. Right, so, right, and, right. Um, okay. So this is a list. So what I, oh, this one. Okay, sorry, I was thinking about something completely, a different pull request <laughs> to have. Um, so these are, we had, so Don's got this new working group that is being started. I said it right, working group. And one of it is, one of its roles is to look at the, the activity metrics that have been kind of left by the wayside by the other working groups. And in the course of the other working groups coming to be, they did different things with the, the, the metrics that were in the metrics repository. So the current metrics repository contains a bunch of files for metrics that have been renamed um, in the 
in the growth maturity decline working group specifically. So um, the, the duplicate note, quote unquote, is um, simply a, um, an index to which two, so like if you look for the number two, there's in me there, this might be one where there's not two of them, but usually, but yeah. Oh, there's, I see. So there's yeah. Two issues there. closed, closed issues. Right. So it's, it's essentially trying to, yeah, maybe I should have explained that somewhere. It's an index to, so that you can see which two that I'm saying are, are the same. And they're literally the same. Like I opened up the files and the only thing that's different in most cases is that one of them contains the template about what to put under a heading and the other doesn't. So, but, but it's the same, it is the same metric. Okay. And when we started, like when I'm going, like one of the things that I'm doing is, is working with the Augur team to implement these metrics. And so from my perspective, having these different names and different repositories, it makes it harder to direct my team about where to flesh things out. And so reconciling this, I think this became urgent in my mind because the new working group is going to start working on these things. I was concerned that without this reconciliation, the, the working group would start potentially working on metrics that, because you look at them, there's like 60 here, could potentially start working on metrics that had been renamed or 70 or 80, that had hence have been renamed, right? And then it would be even more confusing. Because like, no, growth maturity and declines not doing closed issues, or they're not doing issue, they're not doing closed issues, so let's do that, but they are doing issues closed. You know, see what I'm saying? Right, okay. <laughs> this is super helpful, thank you. Yeah, it is. The intention was helpful, but maybe I should have explained it. <laughs> to Ben's point. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it was kind of apparent looking at some of the commits, what you were doing, but um, you know, GitHub is not the best for seeing like the sum total of your revisions. It just shows you like the yeah each individual and, one, you know. And I did. I don't know if this was the best practice, but I did do a commit for each of the ones that no, I reconciled. I think that was probably better. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I, th I think there are the one commit that I think Georg had a question about was whether and I think the consensus is to remove the archived metrics from this commit and address them separately. So on the growth maturity and decline project, a number of the activity metrics were quote unquote archived and put into a separate folder. Um, yeah, I was what, one th thought I had on that is would we would it maybe be better to create a separate branch called archive? And whenever something like that dies, push it to just a branch that's out of the way. I, I I'm in, I'm a supportive of that approach that we have an archive branch <laughs> metrics archive, maybe. So it's clear what we're archiving, although that's what metrics repository is. So that's redundant. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if we, I, I, we could probably just create a, folder well you, I guess you created a folder already called archive so we can just make it so that that folder only appears in like the archived branch essentially what do you think of that Georg um I'm not a big fan of a branch just to archive something um I would rather have everything in the same branch if we do need to have an archive then uh directory makes more sense to me because if I come to the repository I I don't know how I would ever figure out that there should be a different branch except we mentioned it in the readme mm -hmm. but then aligning those again I think it's easier to keep everything straight in one branch than across branches how do we expect people to use the archive? Maybe let's, maybe that would help us decide. So the intention, I'll just say that the intention of the archive is that at the very start of the project, we enumerated a lot of specific metrics. I think in many cases, based on things that some people were already calculating about their projects. And in the course of creating the working groups, some of them got sort of archived. Like we decided in the work growth maturity decline working group and in the diversity and inclusion working group that we were no longer going to attend to those metrics. And I guess mostly it's my lack of 
you know, asking if those metrics bring me joy, I want to keep them around. Um, so we don't lose track of the idea, but maybe, maybe this isn't the place to do that. Maybe so, this, so these aren't metrics that are duplicates of other um, existing metrics. These are ones that have no other duplicate, just they, they don't fit under any track uh, category. Is that what right. you're saying? That's right. That's right. And if for, for whatever okay. reason, the growth, and I'm part of the growth maturity and decline working group, and I don't actually remember the rationale, but for, for whatever reason, we decided not to develop certain metrics. And I, I don't, I don't know that I would call that um, archived then. Um, it's probably not. Yeah, there's probably a better term for that. I mean, if there, if there are metrics that um, would be valuable in some way for measuring community health, maybe not growth, maturity, and decline, um, why would we – I wouldn't think that we would need to archive them. We would just leave them in the metrics repository – yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy to bring them back into the metrics repository. Some of them actually, we developed in Augur, and they continue to have an implementation there. Mm -hmm. um, so I suppose that might be the the reason I didn't want them destroyed. Um, yeah, back into the metrics repository is certainly fine with me. I could maybe the thing to do is to create a separate to deal with the reconciliation in one pull request and the archives in a separate pull request. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I mean, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't archive any metrics that just because a particular user, uh, particular working group isn't tracking those anymore because that's okay. kind of the purpose of the metrics repository. So we should just keep those there for people to use if they if they want them. And like you said, I mean, Augur has already implemented some of them, so they're they have their uses for sure. Okay, I'm just adding a to do to just separate that out on that pull request. That is what I will do. Thanks for the question, Ben. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for the work, actually. My, my pleasure. I did it because my own head was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how a lot of this stuff gets done, right? Instead of scratching your own itch, it's... Uh... Taking drugs for your headache? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm planning on reviewing that pretty soon. So um, yeah, I'll definitely get some feedback on it. Okay, sounds good. I just added another comment that we also need to um, have updated links to the changed file names in the readme. Sounds good. Other other topics. Not for me. Um, going once, going twice. Do we have consensus to end the meeting then, I guess? All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. See you Friday. Yeah, sounds good. I'll see you then. Right. Bye. Bye.